ever wondered how some people have the best sim photos in their house? Framed, beautiful portraits, like these, and like these? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to get your sims to take the best photos and how to put them up on your walls. I have Greg and Vlad here to help us with it. Wait, where's Greg? Greg? Oh. Oh, come on! He's enraged, so I can't really do anything with him yet, so give me a second. So now that I have them both in the same spot, we can start talking about pictures. Vlad is just crying under the sheets. Don't mind him. So every sim has the capability of taking pictures right from their cell phone. So what you do is click on the phone, go to the camera app, and you have a few options. Take selfie, take photo with, take photo of, or take photo. Okay. Having your sim take a selfie allows for your sim to take a really close up picture in different poses. You also get different filters. You can do gray, sepia tones, understated, white vignette, warm, and so on. I like to choose bright as my filter. And then down here are your poses. You have random, relaxed, flirty, excited, angry, thoughtful, sad, and goofy. If you click on random and you click on change pose, your sim will change a pose. If you're playing on PC, you can click and move your mouse to get your sim in the perfect frame. Click again to lock it. Or if you want, you can choose the up, down, left, and right arrow keys down here. You can switch orientation from horizontal to vertical. So if you were taking TikToks, you know. You can turn on or off your flash. If you're in a brightly lit area in your Sims house, I would say turn off your flash. But if you're outside at night taking pictures and selfies with your friends, turn on the flash. Pick the pose that you like and click on the camera button. Now with your cell phone, you're very limited with two picture size, you get small photos and no zoom. There's also a drag bar down here. So if you drag it, you're gonna rotate in the room. So if someone was photobombing you and you wanna get a different picture, I suggest you rotate so that you're now in your kitchen or your living room. I like the brick wall behind him. So I'm gonna change his pose. And that's the Greg that I love. So when you're done, you can either take five photos or you can exit out. The sim that initiated the photos are going to have them in their inventory. So find the photos in your sim's inventory and drag it to a wall. They're going to be small little photos, and those came out pretty good. Sometimes you get blurry photos, or sometimes you get photobombed items, like a gnome in your photo. But the more your sim levels up the photography skill, the better off the picture is going to be. And the more they're going to be worth. So these are normal photos worth eight simoleons. Now, they look great, right? But they would look even better if we could frame them. So from here, you have a few options. If you click on the photo, you get this awesome menu. Depending on what packs you have, you may be able to upload to Instagram, sell to a publication. You can name the photo, create a copy. So if something happens to this photo, you always have a copy. View it, set the filter, rotate photo, add frame. And if you're the werewolf that's in the picture, you can devour it. So rotate frame, you're allowed to landscape it. Go back to portrait, filter, same thing. So if you forgot to add a filter when you took the photo, you can change it to bright. One of the last things I really like to do is actually add a frame. Click on add frame and choose your liking. Let's go with a light wood. Let's do the same to this photo. Let's have Greg make a copy of it in case he wants to give it to all his admiring fans. And it says Greg just created a small print. The object has been sent to his inventory. So you click back into his inventory and here it is. But unfortunately, the quality of the copy is poor. From here, we're going to add another frame. We're going to do white on this one. They look fabulous, don't they? Selfies are great, but it's better to have more sims in a photo, right? Vlad, take a picture with Ash Harjo. Since we have all these people staying at our house, going together. Gotta love it. So let's take a photo together. They pose, and up comes your app. So these are all the same settings you have if you're taking a selfie. Minus you can't rotate your background. So all you can do is just take photos. Here's a nice little flirty one that's fun, but I'm satisfied with that. So let's hang up these photos. Same thing. Oh, good. We got a blurry one. Oh, we got a photo bombed. Okay, excellent. So Vlad is terrible at taking photos. He cannot hold anything steady, so it's poor quality. And we got photo bombed by the gnome. That's excellent. So let's frame this one in yellow and let's add this one in black. Perfect. The third way to take photos with your camera is to take photo of. This is taking photos of a subject. So Vlad's going to take a picture of Lancha. Lancha looks super happy to be at my house. Put him in different poses. This one looks like despair. Let's rotate this so we can get the whole emotion. There you go. That's the love emotion. Excellent. Thank you, Lancha. 
So let's see if Vlad did a better job with these. Vlad, you're getting better. Excellent. The last option is to just take a photo. So this allows you to pan the room, see what's going on, catch any subject. But you can't have your subject change poses because it's like a candid shot. We'll get the Harjo's fighting. That's great. All of their bags in the kitchen because they're staying over for some strange reason. And then we just take these out. So now our wall's getting super full of stuff, but let's add frames to everything. And Wicked Whims is on, so apparently we're having some woohoo over here. Guess the Harjo's don't really hate each other that much. So with your Sims phone, they can take basic photos and that's great. But there are options of the base game to take better photos. So go into the build by mode and search camera and click enter. And if you have the base game, you have three cameras automatically. You have the barely better digital camera. Due to its cheap price, this camera is often purchased as a gift for fleeting photographers. However, with picture quality only a single smidge better than what a standard smartphone is equipped with, this camera generally ends up as a paperweight, mostly bought by out of touch family members who are too cheap to go with even middle of the line stuff. This camera literally is the same thing as your cell phone. Don't waste buying it. It's 85 simoleons. It's crap. It lets you take small photos, no zoom. Boom, use your cell phone. The next camera you can get is the appreciately average digital camera. Does your baby or dog pose so adorably that you simply must capture every single moment? Is your phone so overloaded with baby and dog pics that you don't have space for apps? Pick up the appreciably average digital camera camera for yourself to take as many photos of your baby riding your dog like a cowboy as you could possibly want this mid-range camera allows you to take small and medium photos while having the zoom capability it's actually pretty nice for 670 simoleons but if you want to take the best photos in the game that you can with the base game you need the crystal clear digital camera at 2,015 simoleons, made for true perfectionists, the crystal clear digital camera is the most accurate photo taking device on the market today. Capturing over a gajillion pixels per photo, viewers will be able to see every fine detail of every photo taken. Just don't expect to take many photos. That kind of quality comes with a price. And the price is that this camera can only hold 10 pictures at a time. This expensive camera takes small, medium, and large photos and has even better zoom capabilities. If you're gonna do it, do it right. So I bought the crystal clear better camera and we're gonna give it to Greg. So ask Greg to just pick it up or you can drag it into his inventory. And from here, let's go take some photos. So I brought Greg to the pier so that we could take some nice shots. So if you click on the camera, you have a few options. Take photo, take photo of, take photo with, or a Instagram pet photo if you have the cats and dogs expansion pack. This is clearly just a way to take pictures of your cats and dogs without having them all over your phone. It's a nice touch. So let's say take photo because we want to capture this photo. So we're kind of close to get the sign of the Ferris wheel in. So we're going to lock the frame and then pull back on our zoom. So this is one of the best cameras you can get. So we're going to do this and adjust our zoom so that we get the flags, Ferris wheel, and the sign of the pier in here, along with the womp womp. I would like to take a large photo and I want a bright photo. And from here, I'm going to click take photo. And with that, we have our photo right here. We get back to our house. I'll show you that. Let's just take a few more photos around. So if you tell your sim to take a photo with another sim with the best camera you can, you get all of the zoom capabilities and the photo frame sizes along with the poses. So let's zoom out, get a better picture of these guys. Just glad to hold in the camera. And personally, I like that one. We're gonna make a big blow up of that one. Let's put them in the love pose. Flirty, flirty, perfect, perfect. So let's see if Vlad's photography skills went up. Nope, there's a thumb in the way. For both of these photos. Oh, well, let's add a frame because Vlad took them. Let's see if Greg took better photos of the pier. Ah, these are much better photos. Thank you, Greg. So we're gonna add frames to these. And you can still from here, do all you need. Rotate, you can rotate the photo, you can set the filter, you can update the frame without having to unframe it and reframe it, create copies and upload it to Instagram or sell it to a publication. And just to touch upon some other tips that are great for photo taking in real life and in The Sims 4, lighting is super critical. If you're going to take a photo, try to take it outside in the daytime so you don't have to use the flash of your camera or your phone. But if you are taking the photos inside, make sure the room is lit. This will allow you to get the most clear and colorful photos that you can. Don't forget to customize your poses with your Sims. As funny as it is to see a sad Sim on the wall, we're going to keep that reserved for the tragic clown. Use some of the happy or flirty poses so you get the best looking picture of your Sim to hang in your house for generations.
Try to use the classic rule of thumb, the rule of thirds, which means if you take your picture and cut it into thirds, the nose of your subject should be on one of those two lines. I'll put a photo here to make it a little bit more clear. And lastly, backgrounds are everything. Look at my background. Isn't it amazing? Try to pick either a scenic background or a solid color because dirty dishes and trash don't look nice in a photo. If there's clutter behind you, it's gonna look busy. So take the opportunity to go outside, use the natural light, and get a beautiful scenic background in all of your photos for your sins. And if you have any more questions on how to take pictures or how to put them up on your walls, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, so you don't miss out on any more Sims 4 content, including tips, tricks, and gameplay. And with that being said, I will catch you in the next one. See ya.